Welcome to WholeFoot.com, bringing common sense to foot care, your source for information on various foot topics, and your host, Brett Fink. Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Fink, author of The Whole Foot Book, a comprehensive guide to taking care of your feet. I'm also host of WholeFoot.com, a website devoted towards helping you learn how to take care of your feet and give you the information that you may not have been able to get at your doctor's office. Today we're going to talk about orthotics and arch support. I don't think that there's a day that goes by that someone isn't asking me about supportive shoes or arch supports. Um, and, be, and I think underlying, underlying this is a common misperception that feet require arch supports or supportive shoes in some fashion. And if you think about it, our ancestors, especially if our ancestors were from the warmer areas of Europe or Africa uh, or Asia, uh, probably did not wear shoes until several hundred years ago, and some of them even to this day are not wearing shoes. Their feet develop perfectly normally, and as a matter of fact, many of the common problems that we have are less common in people that have developed and have grown up without arch supports or shoes, including bunions and flat feet. So arch support and supportive shoes are not a necessary part of uh, for the development of any healthy foot. So let's talk a little bit about art supports and supportive shoes and how they came about. We start to see advertisements in magazines in about the 1800s for art supports and various types of supportive shoes. And I think that in the beginning, the effort to do this probably made a lot of sense because the people that required these were probably elderly people that had a great deal of foot pain and they got a great deal of relief and there is the problem with this. There is an association a lot of times that if something makes your foot feel better that it's particularly good for you and that's not always true and for art supports it's not. Um, if the art supports make your feet feel better then it go stands to reason that perhaps everyone needs art supports and that's just not true. Why do art supports make you feel better? Well if you have foot pain the decreased motion and the decreased use of the muscles and ligaments in your foot makes your foot pain less. But it's really a two-edged sword because while it makes the motion less, it also protects it from the normal stresses that it sees. And so the muscles and ligaments become accustomed to less stress and therefore they become less resilient over time. Uh, and at some point, the resilience of your foot gets to the point that it cannot withstand the normal stresses of everyday life and therefore people have achy feet. When are arch supports useful? Well, arch supports are useful in two major t situations. One is when you have painful feet and can't get through the day because your foot pain is so bad, then arch supports can be used for a short period of time until you're able to withstand and go undergo the rehab that is required to take care of your feet and to make them more um, pain-free and more resilient. And I think that the use of art support should always go along with the use of other foot strengthening exercises so that your feet do improve with time. The second case is in people that have foot damage that's so severe that it's really not going to get better without surgery perhaps. Uh, and this would be the case in someone that has um, a foot fracture that has uh, brought it out of position, has developed foot arthritis, or has developed some kind of tendon tear where the stability from the arch supports helps with their tendon tear. Um, this would be the case in someone that had started with a normal arch and it developed a fallen arch. This is commonly caused because a tendon has ruptured on the inside of your ankle. Uh, in this case, really the choice is bracing indefinitely to make the foot feel good enough that it can get through the day or else, else surgery and you may opt to go with the bracing indefinitely either with an arch support or other types of ankle either with an arch support or other type of ankle brace. If you do use an arch support for a short period of time and the idea is that eventually your foot's going to become a normal healthy foot again then again I think that you need to use the art support along with the foot exercises and as the foot exercises begin to strengthen your foot and make it more resilient 
then you should lessen your dependence on the art support so that once your foot is starting to feel better, you should you take a break from the art support for maybe a couple of times a day. Certainly when you're doing the rehabilitative exercises, you should probably not be using the art support because your foot won't be able to react in the way that it should to help strengthen your muscles. So the first step is to begin using the art support less and less. So I go without it for a couple of hours per day, uh, preferably when you're at home and not doing much, and extend that on a weekly basis until you're out of the um, supportive shoes or the art supports and back into normal shoes. The bottom line is that art supports are not necessary for healthy feet. Um, if they are used, they should generally be weaned off as soon as possible and only in fairly specific circumstances should they be used for long periods of time. This is Dr. Brett Fink. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you'll come back to wholefoot.com for other foot care information. If you have any questions or suggestions for other podcasts, I am always eager to hear what you have to say. Please email me at Brett Fink, B-R-E-T-T-F-I-N-K, at wholefoot, W-H-O-L-E-F-O-O-T dot com. Thank you. We invite you to visit us at www.wholefoot.com. Join our newsletter. Watch more informative videos on foot care. Tell us what you think and give us suggestions about future topics that interest you.